everyone, it's February 18th, 1961, and this is the Nightly News. I'm your host, Jared Rickerson. To start off today, I want to talk about a very pressing issue, human rights. And not just human rights in general, but a popular human rights activist by the name of Malcolm X. Malcolm X, born Malcolm Little, is a prominent leader of the Nation of Islam in America. He pushes for black rights, but surprisingly is against the civil rights movement and has even called Martin Luther King Jr. a, quote, chump. Malcolm X preaches often that white people are, quote, devils, that blacks are superior to whites, and that the demise of the white race is imminent. Malcolm X is a role model for many young blacks and Muslims in America today. Here to discuss the appropriateness of Malcolm X's words and actions is Kendrick Maximus, host of the popular podcast, The Max Report. Oh, thanks for having me, Jared. Hey, great to have you here with us, Kendrick. So I want to get your opinion here. Do you feel Malcolm X is doing what is best for black people and for all of America? Um, no, I don't. I believe peaceful protesting is the better way to reach equality and will have uh, better results for the future generation. Uh, Martin Luther King is honestly a better activist in every way. Uh, he speaks for the future and along with himself and to support that, he played a big role in the Youth March for Integrated Schools. Uh, Malcolm X didn't even show up to the march. Uh, he called the march on Washington the farce on Washington and criticized them publicly. He didn't want to participate in these marches and that's because he doesn't want integration. He wants black domination, black supremacy. Well, that is true. Malcolm X is certainly not an equality activist, but you have to admit his form of protest is more effective and a better representation of part of the black community. Black people want revenge for what racist whites have done to them, and fighting tooth and nail for their rights is the only way they believe that they can prove their worth. Peaceful protests are less harmful and more appropriate, but they're also quieter. Violence, as much as I hate to say it, is honestly the best way for blacks to make themselves heard. There are too many racist whites in power for a peaceful stand to be taken seriously. A violent one cannot be ignored. Is it more effective though? The Youth March for Integrated Schools was much more impactful than Malcolm X's radical speeches. The Youth March had many popular influential black figures like um, what's MLK, Jackie Robinson, Roy Wilkins, and it was all organized by A. Philip Randolph. I'll admit that the marches didn't do anything on paper to help push Congress to make new laws. However, they had symbolic power and helped the people believe in moral equality. They showed what the future generations want. 10,000 pro-integration people marched down Memorial Avenue and during the march for integrated schools, and they surely made themselves heard. Here's what I will say. Martin Luther King Jr. and Malcolm X are each representing a population of the black community. Yeah, that's true. But the population that Martin Luther King represents is who deserves a place in our society. I agree. Thanks for coming on the show today, Kendrick. Pleasure Thanks having for talking you here. with you, Jared. Yeah. <sighs> Make sure to check out Kendrick Maximus's podcast, The Max Report. Next week, he'll be traveling to the year 1862 to interview Abraham Lincoln. We'll be back right after this. Stay tuned for more news and opinions right here on the Nightly News.